Hello and welcome to the race room amateur experience. I'm a particularly ill Jord and today we're going to be driving a Honda Civic Touring Car at Laguna Seca. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been a bit under the weather. Still not 100% as you can probably hear okay, in my Jordy. voice but I had to get back in the sim otherwise uh, I'd go a bit crazy. So here we are, five red lights go green. Is it going to be a typical terrible job start? Uh, not quite. We make a bit of contact as uh, just not quite aware of where my front right is. But, uh, nothing catastrophic. As we try and keep it tight into T1, try and be a bit uh, defensive as that car goes out wide, so we pull ahead a little bit. He gives us a little bit of a tap. Which are a little bit naughty, right. but right. again, Roger nothing okay. too bad. It is touring cars, you can expect a little bit of argy bargy, so we don't mind. So we come up to this corner now, and I make a terrible mistake go far too deep into the corner on cold left tires, left. and there's the jod start you're Still waiting for. Left. Two positions See, lost. Now, the next line. corner has a sausage curb that will murder your car. It will kill the suspension. It is the sausage of death. So we'll be trying to avoid that in the race as we go into the corkscrew, very famous corner at Laguna Seca. And of course we're just trying to get through the first lap uh, incident free as I always do. That's pretty much my, my game plan in most races. Just survive the first lap, see what's what and then uh, and go from there. As we come around the last corner now, everything's all still in one piece. The cars in front are having a bit of a ding dong, so that's gonna hopefully help us regain those positions that we lost. So on to lap two now, coming into T1. I go out wide, break a little bit early. I want to try and see if I can just tuck the car underneath here as the Honda in front goes out very wide, I'm not sure what happens there, I think he tried sending it and it didn't quite work. As we get uh, right onto his back now, as he goes off into the gravel, looking up the inside for a, a back out as he closes the door. I was kind of expecting, uh, expecting him to do that, it's a perfectly fine move, nothing wrong with that. We're going to look at the leader real quick, this is uh, Hernandez who's leading the race. And this is what happens when you hit the sausage of death. Suspension has left the chat. So um, that's his car broken. So maybe we'll uh, we'll catch up with him a little bit later in the race. But for now we're going to focus on the cars directly ahead of us. As we come now breaking for the corkscrew. A little bit of rear locking. It happens a lot. But then the Honda in front decides he's a rallycross driver and goes to take his joker lap so free position for us we're gonna skip ahead now to uh, lap three and again look at uh, P2 this is this is Perez in P2 and again the sausage curb of death the death sausage claims yet another so that's Perez in P2 now with uh, broken suspension as well so that could be another potential target uh, as the race goes on. But this was my fastest lap of the race. This is the end of lap three, coming on to lap four. Uh, in front of us we have uh, Hernandez, who was the first victim of the sausage of death. So we're going to try and catch up to him. And already, <coughs> coming out of the first corner, uh, we're half a second up, so this lap going quite well, quite a tidy one. We go a little bit wider there, but uh, we get away with it. Rubio, just just from the get race. a decent run out of uh, this corner. Over a second up on his best time so far, breaking just after that three board, getting in nice and tight. This corner does kind of... Uh, turn away from you on the exit so you have to be a bit more patient with the power. Breaking up the two board, getting as close to the sausage of death as you as you dare get without hitting it. Uh, 
and the run into uh, the corkscrew again, rocking, rocking, locking the rears up. Very easy to do um, with the crest as you enter the corner. The, the back of the car goes very light, so it's very easy to lock those rears up. Breaking up the two board, making the line round the second to last corner as wide as possible. Looking for the three board here. Breaking there, trying to hit the apex nicely and get a, as good an exit as you possibly can. And then we're nearly three, well, two and a half That's seconds up. That's going to be a 131.6, so pretty decent lap. And it's given us the run on Hernandez as we try and keep it tight into T1. And uh, try and get a decent exit. And then we manage to make the move stick. So there we go, back up into P5. Back where we started again. Uh, but hopefully we can chase down Perez, the other victim of the death sausage. And uh, yeah, see if we can make a move on him. Now we don't actually get onto the back of him until the end of uh, lap 7. Um, so this is coming onto lap 8 now on the start finish straight you can see his cars kind of a bit twitchy that's uh, the suspension issue he's got so again I try this move round the outside but uh, I'll just try to get on the power a little bit too early and, uh, it's not too bad actually we managed to get onto the back of him nice bit of rotation around this corner I have to back off before going to the back of him looking up the inside but uh, we don't make the move, we're just trying to kind of put pressure on him. Hopefully force him into a mistake. Again looking up the inside, but not actually going for a, a move at all. As we get a really good run out of this corner, into uh, the death sausage corner. But uh, I completely back out of that, there's no way I'm going to attempt to move in that corner. Not a chance, so... Uh, backing out does give him a little bit of a gap to us as we come into the uh, the corkscrew. Keep forgetting the name of that corner. It's like one of the most famous corners. But anyway, uh, but yeah, coming out of the corkscrew in the next corner, we're uh, we're back on his tail again. Uh, so here we go, coming on to the end of lap eight now, onto the last corner once again, looking up the inside. He goes a little bit deep. So that gives us uh, a bit of a better exit than him as we're tuck into the slipstream now. I kind of faint to the left, wait for him to cover it off and then go right. So again I want the outside to try and go for that uh, switchback move. As uh, we do outbreak him a little bit, but I'm just that bit too late on the brakes to get the, the move to work. Um, but we're still in behind him, so uh, we don't need to rush. Although with uh, two minutes of the race left there you go uh, we probably want to try and make a move sooner rather than later so again I'm just trying to keep the pressure on him here uh, I go to the outside as he tries to cover up the inside I have to give him the space though as uh, we were alongside in that corner again getting a really good run into this corner but just I'm just not risking uh, trying the overtake with the, the sausage of death there waiting for us. So again, <coughs> he's got a little bit of a gap in front of us. Massive lockup, the mother of all brake lockups. Yeah, we managed to once again close the gap. And uh, onto the last corner now of the penultimate lap, I think that the next lap will be our last lap. As once again getting a really mega exit out of this last corner, he goes to the left early, so we bring it out to the right and we've just got such a better exit than him. Uh, by the time we're at the crest, we're already in front of him. I could have gone defensive here, but I just wanted to take the normal racing line. They did try sending it up the inside, but we get a bit of a nice switch back on him there, the old switcheroo. So uh, we managed to get that to work in the end. And yeah, we can just pull ahead of him now, um, with his car being damaged. 
So we come to the end of the lap then, the end of the race. Here we are, last corner, so long as I don't do anything catastrophic. We're going to bring the car home, one position up from where we started, one position off the podium as well, so quite happy with that. Okay. Someone so in the chat well done, not happy, but uh, not that that affects me at all. I send Perez a nice message in the chat to say, great race. But yeah, that's the video guys, thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate that too. I have a Discord, if uh, you're interested in that, that's linked in the description, so I'll see you there if you're interested. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.